Amicable numbers are two different numbers so related that the sum of the proper divisors of each is equal to the other number. A pair of amicable numbers constitutes an aliquot sequence of period 2. A related concept is that of a perfect number, which is a number that equals the sum of its own proper divisors. In other words a number which forms an aliquot sequence of period 1. Numbers that are members of an aliquot sequence with period greater than 2 are known as sociable numbers. For example, the smallest pair of amicable numbers is, for the proper divisors of 220 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 11, 20, 22, 44, 55 and 110 of which the sum is 284, and the proper divisors of 284 are 1, 2, 4, 71 and 142, of which the sum is 220. The first 20 amicable pairs are history. Amicable numbers were known to the Pythagoreans, who credited them with many mystical properties. A general formula by which some of these numbers could be derived was invented circa 850 by the Iraqi mathematician Thabit ibn Qurra. Other Arab mathematicians who studied amicable numbers are al-Majriti, al-Baghdadi, and al-Farizi. The Iranian mathematician Mohammad Bakir Yazdi discovered the pair, though this has often been attributed to Descartes. Much of the work of Eastern mathematicians in this area has been forgotten. Thabit ibn Qurra's formula was rediscovered by Fermat and Descartes, to whom it is sometimes ascribed, and extended by Euler. It was extended further by Borjo in 1972. Fermat and Descartes also rediscovered pairs of amicable numbers known to Arab mathematicians. Euler also discovered dozens of new pairs. The second smallest pair was discovered in 1866 by a then teenage B. Niccolo I. Paganini, having been overlooked by earlier mathematicians. By 1946 there were 390 known pairs, but the advent of computers has allowed the discovery of many thousands since then. Exhaustive searches have been carried out to find all pairs less than a given bound, this bound being extended from 108 in 1970, to 1010 in 1986, 1011 in 1993, and to 1017 in 2015. As of December 2015, update, there are 40,871,144 known amicable pairs. Rules for generation. While these rules do generate some pairs of amicable numbers, many other pairs are known, so these rules are by no means comprehensive. Thabit ibn Qurra theorem The Thabit ibn Qurra theorem is a method for discovering amicable numbers invented in the 9th century by the Arab mathematician Thabit ibn Qurra. It states that if p equals 3 times 2 n minus 1 minus 1, q equals 3 times 2 n minus 1, r equals 9 times 22 n minus 1 minus 1, where n greater than 1 is an integer and p, q, and r are prime numbers. Then 2n times p times q and 2n times r are a pair of amicable numbers. This formula gives the pairs for n equals 2, for n equals 4, and for n equals 7, but no other such pairs are known. Numbers of the form 3 times 2n minus 1 are known as Thabit numbers. In order for Ibn Qurra's formula to produce an amicable pair, Two consecutive Thabit numbers must be prime. This severely restricts the possible values of n. To establish the theorem, Thabit ibn Qurra proved nine lemmas divided into two groups. The first three lemmas deal with the determination of the aliquot parts of a natural integer. The second group of lemmas deals more specifically with the formation of perfect, abundant and deficient numbers. Euler's rule Euler's rule is a generalization of the Thabit ibn Qurra theorem. It states that if p equals plus 1 times 2 meters minus 1, q equals plus 1 times 2 n minus 1, r equals plus 1, 2 times 2 meters plus n minus 1, where n greater than m greater than 0 are integers and p, q, and r are prime numbers. Then 2n times p times q and 2n times r are a pair of amicable numbers. 
Thabit ibn Qurra's theorem corresponds to the case M equals N1. Euler's rule creates additional amicable pairs for equals, with no others being known. William Dunham in a video claims that Euler found 58 such pairs to make all the by then existing pairs 61. Regular pairs. Let be a pair of amicable numbers with m less than n, and write m equals gm and n equals gn where g is the greatest common divisor of m and n. If m and n are both co-prime to g and square free then the pair is said to be regular, otherwise it is called a regular or exotic. If is regular and m and n have i and j prime factors respectively, then is said to be of type. For example, with equals, the greatest common divisor is 4 and so m equals 55 and n equals 71, therefore is regular of type. Other results. In every known case, the numbers of a pair are either both even or both odd. It is not known whether an even odd pair of amicable numbers exists, but if it is, the even number must either be a square number or twice one and the odd number must be a square number. Also, every known pair shares at least one common factor, higher than one. It is not known whether a pair of co-prime amicable numbers exists, though if any does, the product of the two must be greater than 1067. Also, a pair of co-prime amicable numbers cannot be generated by Thabit's formula, nor by any similar formula. In 1955, Paul Erdos showed that the density of amicable numbers, relative to the positive integers, was zero. Generalizations. Amicable tuples amicable numbers satisfy and which can be written together as this can be generalized to larger tuples, say, where we require for example is an amicable triple, and is an amicable quadruple. Amicable multisets are defined analogously and generalizes this a bit further. Sociable numbers main article. Sociable number Sociable numbers are a cyclic list of numbers such that each number is the sum of the proper divisors of the preceding number. For example are sociable numbers of order 4. Searching for sociable numbers. The aliquot sequence can be represented as a directed graph for a given integer, where denotes the sum of the proper divisors of cycles in represent sociable numbers within the interval. Two special cases are loops that represent perfect numbers and cycles of length 2 that represent amicable pairs.